Hey boys and girls, welcome to another um, Frog and Toad edition with Mr. D. Today we're going to read chapter four called The Hat, and we have been doing an outstanding job of learning um, how to understand our stories a little bit better by concentrating on two things. We've been concentrating on the character, okay, and we've definitely been talking a little bit about Frog, a little bit about Toad. One chapter we talked about both, and then we've also been really concentrating on the problem and the solution. In each chapter, the problem, what's going on, like why is there an issue in the story, and the solution, how the characters fixed it. Okay? Now, <clears throat> you know, in the just talking about problem solution, I'm gonna grab my board here now. Okay, so in the in the chapter so far, we're at tomorrow. Okay, and tomorrow there's lots of chores to do. For Toad, he finally got out of bed and said, you know what, I'm gonna get it done now. That was good for him. And the kite. The kite would not fly for them three times. They kept on trying, and they, the kite got up. That was the solution. In the chapter, Shivers, they were wondering, Frog and Toad were both wondering, do you like to be scared, right? And Frog made up that story about, you know, the old dark frog, and Toad was really shivering. And the solution was, you know what? They figured out that they like being scared, but they like being scared together, like they like because they're their good friends. So we really country and done a great job on the problem and the solution for each of these chapters. Now, today... <clears throat> Today, we're going to talk about, I want you to concentrate on Frog again in the chapter of the hat because he's going to be the character that we're going to do a little activity with um, after that. And then I'm going to show you the four choices that we have after today's chapter. We'll fill in the problem and the solution again, but we've been doing a great job and this is going to help us understand our story a little bit better because if we can use details to explain the character or use details to explain the problem and the solution, we're only going to get better at reading and we're going to like it more and it's gonna help us in all the activities that we do, okay? So, Days with Frog and Toad, here comes chapter four called The Hat. On Toad's birthday, Frog gave him a hat. Toad was delighted. Happy birthday, said Frog. Toad put on the hat. It fell down over his eyes. I am sorry, said Frog. That hat is much too big for you. I will give you something else. No, said Toad. This hat is your present to me. I like it. I will wear it the way it is. Frog and Toad went for a walk. Toad tripped over a rock. He bumped into a tree. He fell in a hole. Frog, said Toad. I can't see anything. I will not be able to wear your beautiful present. This is a sad birthday for me. Frog and Toad were sad for a while. Then Frog said, Toad, here is what you must do. Tonight, when you go to bed, you must think some very big thoughts. Those big thoughts will make your head grow larger. In the morning, your new hat may fit. What a good idea, said Toad. <clears throat> that night, when Toad went to bed, he thought the biggest thoughts he could think. Toad thought about giant sunflowers. He thought about tall oak trees. He thought about high mountains covered with snow. Then Toad fell asleep. Frog came into Toad's house really quietly. Frog found the hat and took it to his house. Frog poured some water on the hat. He put the hat in a warm place to dry. It began to shrink. The hat grew smaller and smaller. <clears throat> Frog went back to Toad's house. Toad was still fast asleep. Frog put the hat back on the hook where he found it. When Toad woke up in the morning, he put the hat on his head. It was just the right size. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog, Frog, he cried. All those big thoughts have made my head much larger. Now I can wear your present. Frog and Toad went for a walk. Toad did not trip over a rock. He did not bump into a tree. He did not fall into a hole. It turned out to be a very pleasant day after Toad's birthday. Hmm. That's a funny one. That's a good one. Okay? So let's talk about this right here first. Okay? Let's talk about the problem and the solution. Okay? Because I think we can all definitely figure that one out pretty easily in this chapter, especially because it's pretty funny, you know, pretty silly. So let's take a look at that, all right? So let me get my marker out here. Wherever I can find it. 
Hmm. Here we go. So, right there. Problem solution, okay? So we're going to fill in our chart that we've been doing all week this week. Doing a great job talking about it. So it's called the hat. Okay, so I put my hat, the hat in the fourth area right there. Problem, well, what was the problem in this chapter? Toad's hat was too big. Okay, that's pretty much the problem. He fell into the hole. He ran into a tree. Toad's hat was too big. Yeah, you could also draw that. You know, you could draw him with the big head if you want to, but I'm going to go with sentences because my drawing isn't really the best, so that's the way I choose to do it. So Toad's hat was too big. Well, what was the solution? Okay, so Toad got that hat for his birthday. He really liked it. He didn't want to give it back to Frog because Frog was so nice to give him that present. What happened? That's right. Frog put water on the hat, on that hat, so it would shrink. Okay? So Frog put water on that hat so it would shrink. Right? And what happened? Toad woke up the next day. He's like, oh my goodness, those big thoughts really made my hat bigger. That's why the hat fit. But he didn't know that Frog that, did that trick on him in a good way. So the problem was Toad's hat was way too big, but the solution was Frog put water on that hat so it would shrink. And he's stuck in the house in all those details. So if you can understand those details of what happened in that, in that chapter, that's really good. You're getting better at reading. Great job. Okay. So now let's talk about the character. Okay. Now the character today. Okay. So character. That's what we're going to talk about next. We're going to talk about Frog. Okay. Now you can see here, I took Frog here and I want to talk about character traits. Okay, now character traits are th ways to describe the character. So in this chapter, in the hat, I came up with three words for Frog and how I would do it. And I also include some drawings. And you can also include a sentence or even write a paragraph about it to show how you know about Frog and how he, what he was. But I would say Frog was really nice. Well, how was he really nice? He came up with that idea to pour the water on the hat to make it smaller, right? So that was definitely something really nice about Frog. He was also really clever. He came up with that idea. You know what? I'm going to have Toad go to sleep and I'm going to sneak into his house. So clever is a really good word. He thought about that in his brain. And the last thing I said about his Frog is I thought he was pretty funny. For him, Frog told Toad, you know what? Go home and think really big thoughts and that's going to make your head bigger. Would that really happen? Probably not. But if you want to try thinking big thoughts to make your head bigger, go ahead. But I thought that was kind of funny of Frog to say, you know what, go home, think big thoughts, and your head's going to get bigger, okay? So that's what I thought about Frog, and I thought how he was so, those are three, way, three ways I would describe him in this chapter. So if you can <clears throat> use words to describe your character and then explain why you use those words, that means you're getting better at reading, guys. So way to keep it up. You guys are doing awesome. So great job at home. Enjoying the Frog and Toad books. So finally today... Let me show you, you have a choice of four activities you can do at home based on our chapter here today. Okay, and today with the hat, you can, number one, you can create a hat. Go home, make a hat at home, whatever materials you have, make a big hat, make a small hat, make a funny looking hat, but make a hat just like we did there. That's one activity you can do. Another choice you can make is you can write or draw about the best birthday present you ever received. How excited was Toad to get that birthday present? He was so excited, right? So think about how excited Toad was to get a birthday present. You can write a write or draw about a birthday present that you like. Okay, five words that rhyme with hat is another choice. You can put three of them in a sentence. Okay, there's a million words that'll rhyme with hat. You know, if you're a first or second grader watching this, try to come up with um, more than three letter words. Splat is one I would think that's kind of funny. So splat hat, that rhymes. Think about that AT sound. And last but not least, the last choice you can make is you could write or draw about when you did a nice thing for a friend. How nice was Frog to do that for Toad? So nice. Like he, Number one, he bought him a present, then he fixed it for him. So he actually did two nice things there. So the choices for today, again, you can either create a hat, 
You could write or draw about the best birthday present you received. You could write or draw about a, about a nice thing you did for a friend. How did it make you feel? And, or, or you could do five words that rhyme with hat, put three of them in a sentence. Boys and girls, great job again with fraud and code. We're getting so much better at understanding the problem and solution and the characters in our story. I'm really proud of what we're doing. Great job learning at home. Hope everybody's well and safe. See you again tomorrow.